Yo, what's going on, bladers and brawlers alike, and welcome to another three-pack opening. Um, happy to have you. Today we have the Arliss Dragonoid Ultra three-pack that I had gotten from Amazon. Uh, you guys saw me unbox this in the mail day video, so that's pretty cool. I've been super excited to get into this. Uh, um, so we have the Arliss Dragonoid Ultra, we have the Darkest Mantanoid Core, and Pyrus Pegatrix. Um, so that's really, really exciting. Taking a look at the back of the box. So we get the one Ultra, two cores, six um, Baku cores, three character cards, and three action cards. Um, I'm not exactly sure if these action cards are going to be from Resurgence or Battle Brawler, so I'm pretty excited to see that. But technically, this is Wave 5, or Wave 4 3 packs. So um, Amazon just got them a little bit early and they didn't know. So they've been selling them for a little bit, and every time I have money, to get them they sell out so I was finally able to get my hands on one so I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time and I'm just gonna dive right into this okay and we're back so got everything kind of laid out per formula that I like to do so we're just gonna start and go ahead and look at the uh, heck uh, the course the Baku course real quick Oof, words are hard so we have the fire fist with plus five damage we have a shield that gives Pyrus and darkest plus 400 B power we have a magic shield of 600 Bs, which is always really nice. I prefer the 650s or the minus 400s, but 600 isn't bad. We have the fist of 50 B and two damage. Then we have another shield of 600 B and then a green fist of one damage. So two of these Bakugan um, have the super shield ability. Uh, I know he's one of them, but we gotta figure out which one of the other two is. So let's just take a look at the ability cards and see what we get. So, judging by the block growth, it looks like these are uh, Battle Brawlers uh, singles still. So we have the block growth that stops Ventus and Aquas. We have a Wither, which is a minus three damage. And then we have Pyrus Dominance, that um, is a stop non-Pyrus and destroys an energy card for five cost. Pretty indifferent about the five cost uh, flip cards, but I mean, this one's pretty good. Uh, so, moving on to the main event. I'm so ready. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the Arliss Dragonoid Ultra. And here he is in all his golden glory. He looks absolutely fantastic. The uh, dark gray and black trim, uh, not trim, but like accents that they put in this guy are absolutely sick. I love the silver um, clasp that they use on him and then the, the wing accents really nice. The silver horn's cool and then the pitch black like center chest piece oh it's so cool kind of reminds me of a hollow from bleach <laughs> um and then he's got like the silver toes and unlike the the pyrus dragonoid he actually has like accents on his arms which is really nice because the other one i think they're just straight orange and they're just kind of thrown on there but he actually has a little bit of gold on there to define his arms so that's really really nice and you know he's got got craziness and he catches the core right here so that's pretty cool. I think um, from what I gathered that he is actually better at hanging onto the cores and not throwing them across the field like the Pyrus one is, but we will do some testing to find out if that is accurate or not. Um, so let's take a look at his character card. So we have Arliss Dragonoid Ultra with the Super Shield, or with the Magic Shield and the Red Fist. 500 B power and 4 damage, which is really nice. Uh, 5 and 4 is pretty sweet. That's a 9 average, which is awesome. And his evolution is a 4 cost that is every faction. So he can't be halted with outsider cards or anything. You have to have core specific uh, flip cards to stop this bad boy, which is absolutely insane. He can't be targeted by nature's power. Ugh, it's, it's so good. So I, I really like his evolution and it's definitely worth playing. Um, so I'm gonna test that out in a couple battles in, a, in the next couple of days, or in a few battles in the next couple of days. So hopefully I won't be isolated from my friend group by playing this guy, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely see. All right, and then moving on, we're gonna check out the Darkest Mantanoid Core. He looks pretty cool. The green is very, very intimidating against this black, um, especially being like his eyes and stuff. It's a very, very prominent feature on him. The purple is a nice 
um, accent on top of it as well. The, just this color scheme really, really works with the Mantanoid core as well. So um, I still think his Ultra looks better, but he does not look bad. And I know his character card is actually pretty good. Um, I just, act, I love this detail, like this pattern right here on his back is really, really cool. Um, he's kind of like, the core reminds me of a mixture of like a King Cobra and a Mantis, so that's really cool. Um, taking a look at his character card, we have Darkest Mantanoid Core with the shield and the fist. 200 B power, but 6 damage, which is kind of crazy. Um, and he has the ability that when you miss, you can reroll with him once, uh, so that's really cool. Um, there's some rulings that people are kind of playing, ar playing around with with these rerolls, so um, definitely keep an eye out for anything that has an automatic reroll on him. Because they are going to be pretty potent if the ruling deems it so. And finally, we're going to wrap up with the Pyrus Pegatrix, which I'm very, very excited to get into. Alright, so here we have the Pegatrix core in Pyrus, and he looks absolutely fantastic. Oh, god, he looks so cool. The, the green accents on his uh, on his hooves and his horn, the, the, the eye, it's like just enough green to be like noticeable, but still looks really, really good. Um, the orange on his wings are very, very nice as well. I like the accent down there, but just, just the greens I think really steal the show against the reds. Um, he's got the little orange wings on the inside, as well as the tips here. So very, very cool. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. He might be my favorite core color. Um, the, the Chaos one does look very, very nice as well. <sighs> I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to do like a top five um, Bakugan list. I think that'd be maybe top ten, because there's a lot of really cool ones. I could probably do five cores, five ultras. Um, that might make for good content. What do you guys think? And taking a look at his character card we have pegatrix core in the pyrus with the magic shield and the fist 300 b power and four damage which actually isn't bad three and four is pretty pretty solid and he's got those bright glowing eyes and on the core uh, that's really cool I, I really like this art very very intimidating and i know his evolution gives you a reroll, but um mantis comes with it so that's that's good. Um, if you are looking for, you know, a nice Pyrus to add to the group, he is not a bad option. This pack all around is actually pretty good. Um, mostly what you're going to be wanting is the um, Dragonoid Ultra, because he can be splashed into any deck and pretty much steal the show. He's going to be your main team attacker. Not only is he getting that magic shield, but his evolution is an absolute just unit. Uh, there's not a lot you can do against it, um, so kind of prioritize... If you play Chaos, make sure you max on your Wanes. If you play Aquas, you want to focus on the uh, Fixation, because you can close one of your opponent's Bakugan before they team attack with this guy. And you'll take a little bit of damage with him, but it's going to be mostly, um, you know... It will, the team attack will be pretty good if you, you know, close him, but you're going to want to avoid taking this guy as a team attack. Uh, for Darkus, you know, you're going to want to have something that, you know destroys an enemy evo as well uh, i'm not really sure what you could do with ventus or um aquas to kind of get rid of this evolution but you know there's there's a lot of options that you can kind of do um but but ventus and no not ventus chaos and aquas are going to be kind of like the best contenders to get rid of this evolution so um that is actually going to do it for me i really appreciate you guys hanging out until the end um, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up because Arliss Dragonoid Ultra is absolutely insane. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I uh, highly recommend that. I got some huge moves coming here in the near future, um, as well as a podcast that's going to be featuring MStubs88, as well as Kimbo Slice. So if you guys are interested in podcasts, you like listening to um, nerds ramble on about transforming marbles, then um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, we're going to be recording our first one here in a few days, or probably it's going to be out by the time this video goes up. So uh, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. Um, but that is actually going to do it for me. Uh, I hope you guys have a fiery day.